uh, we had a job to do, stabilising the country, training the Afghan national security forces, creating the space for them to build their own security, and that job is now nearly done. So by the end of next year, uh, our forces will be out of the combat realm. And I think people in this country uh, want to see the job finished. Equally, they will be relieved that our troops are no longer being exposed to the same kind of risks that they were a year or so ago. The, um, the inventory of kit in Afghanistan has changed over time, so uh, vehicles that we have sent, we sent out at the beginning of the campaign in many cases have already come back and been replaced uh, with many of the vehicles we see coming off here, which have been urgent operational requirements purchased during the course of the campaign, specifically for the needs of that campaign. What we've done is very carefully looked at that fleet of vehicles surplus or is not fit for purpose will either be destroyed in theatre or well, the important thing is that we will retain the capability to mount an operation on this scale should we need to um, in the future. The essence of uh, proper defence is being prepared for all eventualities uh, and whilst I can't see uh, any need in the immediate future to be doing anything like this again, we certainly can't say never and we have to remain prepared and with the capability to do it if the need ever arises.